Hello guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all good night, no matter where you are. Hopefully you guys out there are doing great, earning a lot of money from the market and of course taking great care of your health. So today I would like to share with you something uh, incredible that happens uh, yesterday to me. A trade that I took and then it gave me a very simple uh, 1 to 6 risk reward ratio. So before that, let me uh, tell you the whole story about this. And by the way, if you guys are interested in the mentorship, it has already opened for registration. Uh, just get the description from the link at the description and then you contact my assistant Hans. Alright, so first of all, let's look at this uh, overall movement of the goal. The goal has been going down very steadily. You can actually look uh, at the higher time frame at H4. The price has been going down steadily, but the problem is that at higher time frame, such like daily, it has not broke the lowest point. It means that there is still a very high possibility it will go up. And by the way, at high time frame, this movement right here, it looks like a compression. What does a compression? Compression means that the demand zone, all right, the demand zone has been consumed by itself and then it create another demand zone and consume itself. So meaning that there is not much demand zone left, okay, making this a very vulnerable for the price to go up very, very soon. Now let's look at how the price move in, very simple. First of all, how did I get this trade? It's, it started actually from here, all right, it started from here. First of all, uh, I think a few months ago, the price actually did came into this, uh, we call the decision point. This is a decision point where the price actually moved in uh, sideways before it drops and then goes up within structure. So in this decision point, the price came into it and then formed a QML, right? <coughs> Sorry for that. So you look at it, where is the QML? The price came down, went up, came back down, and then rise up very fast, right? Making this a very good QML. So we have a break of structure exactly right at this area. Now, when we have a QML, we must be looking at the fresh zone. And the only fresh zone available right here was this thing. Okay, this whole thing right here is our fresh zone. So we will trade based on it. Now, the price has gone by a few months, at least three months. Okay, and then what happened is that it started to create a lot of things. It started to create a lot of fakeouts right here, one layer fakeouts right there, and then the other fakeouts right here. And of course, the compression movement right there. So there is a lot of liquidity building up uh, when the price started to come back into this area. Now, the only problem for me is that this zone itself is extremely big, 80 over pips. And I do not take 80 over pips type of trades. It's extremely risky. So I focus on lower time frame a little bit. So usually I will go to one hour or 30 minutes. In this case, what happens is that I go to 30 minutes the price actually came into this area and then started to move away. Uh, at first, I was thinking that the price might come back to tap on the newly fresh uh, zone that it has, been, it has created based on a new QML structure right there. We have a break of structure. Okay? We have this break of structure which created this QML structure. Now, the only problem is that the price moved away too fast. right? It may come, it may comes back later on, but it has moved away too fast, and I'm looking for other opportunities to enter trade. So what happened is that I look for different type of uh, setups, such like RBS resistance become support, and right here we have actually two resistance. First resistance is at this area. Okay, if you look at it, what happened is that this is all the resistance, even though we have some uh, price moving upwards. This is a resistance, and the price came back. Actually, matter of fact, very fast and tap onto this uh, demand zone and then move away. Now, however, we have actually has another uh, resistance area, which is this area. Okay, this is another clear resistance area. I usually will drag it to an uh, area where there is a lot of uh, wicks of shadow meets. Now, price went up rally base rally. Okay, it's very clear it went up rally base rally. Now, and then what happened? It created the high point right here. This is the high point. All right. Now, I want you guys to understand. Now, once it has created high point, it didn't actually came back. Or should I say it didn't really break through it. It created a lot of uh, small, small movement or uh, compression. And then it drops. So once it drops, it came back into this zone, which is excellent for me because I've been monitoring this zone. 
although it uh, has give you some kind of a roller coaster kind of scare, it came down very fast. Okay, it kept onto it two times before it started to move away. But what happened is that I'm willing to take this risk. Reason is because the risk has been reduced to 16 pips rather than just now like what we've seen, 70 pips, 80 pips. So this kind of the risk is the thing that we as a trader uh, should bear in mind that we are able to take. Okay, Don't need to consider too much. It's within our tolerance as, as long as you know how to control your risk reward ratio. And not only that, uh, during trading of a supply and demand, we have something that we call is that uh, setups that back up our supply and demand, especially like uh, uh, SSR, we call it the significant support and resistance that back up our supply and demand. So making the zone extremely powerful. So what first zone, we may miss it because it happens too fast. The second zone, it gives you quite comfortable kind of movement. Okay, so important right here is that where does the price actually go on through? Okay, so the risk is simple. You have a few options. The first option is that you can take your profit at the edge where we call it the resistance area because it might create the what? Backups again. All right, it may create, it may not create. We do not know. Second, you can actually look at what we call it as a roadblocks. Roadblocks is a term that we use as uh, something that may hinder our progress. All right, example, if we want the price to move upwards a lot, we look for uh, roadblocks that may hinder the progress. And actually, along this movement, there is one, another roadblock is what we call it as a blind spot right here. Okay, so you have two options. Either you can take your profit right there, or you take your profit. Either one of these will give you a good risk to your ratio. We look at it. <coughs> the price actually came into it, and then give you quite, quite nice one to six, or maybe one to nine, right? But I took one to six, that's all. One to six risk your ratio. Okay, because the time for me is a little bit, uh, how should I say, difficult. It has gone to uh, midnight. All right, it has gone to midnight, and I'm not going to take any more uh, big risk. All right, when it's, it's coming to the midnight, and especially uh, it's the end of the weekend. All right, it means that it's Friday going to Saturday. It's going to be very, very dangerous. Okay, this is the reason I want to share with you. Uh, as a trader, you must understand there is a lot of other factors read, uh, other than looking at indicators, looking at supply and demands, looking at structure. There are other factors such like news, either news or sudden news. So what type of news that I mentioned here is that I do not know what will happen during the Saturday and Sunday. A lot of unexpected uh, uh, phenomena, a lot of unexpected disaster, a lot of unexpected things might happen. And it's out of control because if you have any pending orders or you have any orders that's running, it may give you sudden heart attack early morning of uh, Monday, right? The Asian market. It may give you a big jump. So in this case, I will just take it one to six. Is it comfortable? Is it good for me? Yes, extremely good for me. So I took the trade and I get my profit without any worry, very, very fast, all based on what? Supply and demand analysis and looking at the original all right, movement of where does these things came from. All right? So that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. So if any of you uh, would like to join my mentorship, uh, we are going to start the mentorship soon on the 1st of March. Uh, I will encourage you guys to join me because I'll be sharing with you a lot, a lot of tips and, uh, and I can guarantee you definitely will learn a lot from me uh, through my experience of being trading so far, and we will give you good, I'm going to take good care of you guys, that's all, very simple. And it's all not based on, I would say, uh, watching videos, no. We will do it uh, kind of like a good uh, a class where we can interact. All right, so that is all for today. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So see you guys then, bye.